Timmy, Timmy, can you hear me? Okay, Timmy, the flight team's gonna be here anytime, buddy. I want you to just do the best you can to be calm. Today we're doing critical care simulations with the critical care team here. This is gonna be for a one vehicle rollover with patient ejection. That is all the information we have at this time. Crews are in route. Looks to crew copy. We're using very high fidelity simulations. They're very uh, realistic simulations. We're making some abrasions here. We've got an open femur fracture, a little head injury as well. We want them to walk in here and not think that this is a mannequin. We want them to think this is an actual patient. And we treat it as such. We're doing uh, a pediatric trauma patient that's critically injured. He has several life-threatening uh, injuries that they have to detect and treat rapidly. Hi. Hey guys, hey, hey. Hi. So glad you guys are here. So this is Timmy. Uh, my name's Hi, Brian. Timmy. Hi, Brian. Timmy's five years old. Uh, he was uh, involved in an auto versus bicycle at about 30 miles per hour. He's struck from the left side. There's a pre-written program for each simulation. There's a tech who's out of behind the scenes, sort of the Wizard of Oz uh, behind the curtain that's running it. And then I can provide feedback. If I need to tweak a crew or I want to play with them or I want to get them somewhere. All right, Timmy, can you close your eyes for me, bud? Good job. Do you hurt? Are you hurting? His yeah. pelvis is unstable. Yeah, sorry, buddy. Hang with us tight, OK? The focus on that one was what interventions did you need to do right away, and which ones could you wait till you were en route to the trauma center, that being the definitive care. All right, come on. We do these simulations uh, scheduled to twice a year, um, but we also do them more regularly as parts of other classes and other training. The further away from the hospital they are, the more likely a helicopter would help. This them. training is just great because it helps us uh, get a better relationship with the paramedics and the nurse on board and the pilot himself. So it's a huge thing for us. It's critical to work with local EMS. Well, anytime we can incorporate multiple agencies and multiple folks that are going to be on the scene of an accident or a critical incident. The more they train together, the more they work well together when the crisis happens. You know, without this training, the volunteers, they wouldn't get this experience. They wouldn't get the hands-on with the helicopter, seeing how to load a patient and interacting with the crew. They don't charge us anything. It's a free service. Um, so a lot of this is about being prepared for things you can't anticipate. That's why we simulate, that's why we train. So that when the unknown happens, it's not a complete unknown. We're ready for it.